you go in on top 24 to 14. They score right before the half. You use some trick plays to get on top. Uh, really exciting first half, but what do you tell your guys going into the locker room? Well, we really didn't want to give up that last touchdown. We would love to go on in with it being 24 to 7. But, uh, you know, as we said before, their quarterback's a real battler and took advantage of a couple of uh, missed coverages. And uh, we told the guys we got to fight through the, to the end that North Dakota was going to keep coming back. They got such a, a, a winning reputation, and uh, we knew they wouldn't give up. So we made some adjustments at halftime and wanted to come out and then get after it with that first drive. Well, we just saw the trick plays. Uh, a little bit. Uh, talk about what Coach Condell did, and th this is two weeks in a row you've run trick plays, and all three plays have worked to perfection. Well, Tommy Condell does a great job of setting those things up, and what we had seen from North Dakota was that uh, they, they showed great pursuit with their defense, I mean almost over pursuit. So we tried to take advantage of some misdirection things with uh, you know, the throwback from uh, Jay to Brian for a touchdown, and then the reverse to uh, Brady Miles for his first touchdown as a Lion. And uh, so we tried to take advantage of some of their pursuit. Uh, you know, Tommy's always going to have some tricks up his sleeve every week. So, uh, in fact, one of the other coordinators, one of the defense coordinators in the conference called me and said, uh, why don't you have Condell spend some more time with his family and stop drawing up all these trick plays. So. Well, the Lions are leading 24-14 to 14 at halftime. Let's take a look at the second half highlights against North Dakota. Coming out, we always tell our guys that the most important series of the game is the first series of the uh, third quarter after both teams make their adjustments. Here's a nice tackle by Marquise Powell. We feel like we've got him under. Here's a third down, and uh, quarterback scrambles, and uh, we don't keep proper leverage on the receiver and let him get inside of us. Here's a play-action pass. Hits Marquise right in the chest. Should have had an interception. Didn't get the ball intercepted. And then they come back and run a scissors route. Our two defenders both covered the outside receiver and left the inside receiver wide open. Uh, so they come back and make it 24-21 on their first drive of the third quarter. This is a big return here by Andre Cryer. Our front does a fantastic job. Brock DeLong leading the wedge. We get the ball out here to the 50-yard line. Very nice job by our kickoff return team. Nice job by Brian avoiding the rush. Takes a hit after he throws. We throw a wheel route to Andre Cryer. So our offense comes down and answers. Again, good call by Coach Condell against their zone coverage. And a great throw by Brian, catch by Andre. This is a big time run by Jasper Ducksworth. Jasper is a great running back. We need to get him a little more involved in our run game. It's a big time run by Jasper. Got the fans really fired up at that time when he made that run. And here we come right back to Jasper with the screen pass. Could have walked in, there's nobody over there. Great call, great setup on the screen. So we're up 38-21. We need to continue to score. We need to shut them down. Again, here with our run game, we almost get the ball out. Big play in the backfield there by Walter Vaughn. Thought we had the ball out. Toss sweep outside. Tackle by Kendrick Jackson. Quarterback with too much time to throw again. Gets behind us on the same route again. Didn't learn the first time. Here's the second down play on the goal line. Swing pass, good pursuit. Trey Douglas knocks him out of bounds. But then on the third down play, they ran the ball for a touchdown and uh, missed the extra point, which turned out to be big at the end of the game. Tommy Connors should have had the ball intercepted, tipped it up in the air, caught by one of their offensive linemen on the tunnel screen. Here they are on a toss sweep. Good play by Ryan Godair, getting the ball tackled. We get bad leverage out there on a three by one formation. We've got to have inside leverage. They go for two. We do a great job with our uh, goal line coverage here. And this is a great diving tip by Quentin Pierre to knock the ball incomplete on the two-point conversion. Again, that turned out to be huge at the end of the game. Here we are with seven minutes to go. We're ahead by five. We get a drive going. We take a sack. Got to get rid of that ball. Don't take the sack in this part of the field. We allow them to get the ball back as it's 38-35. 
Great throw by their quarterback. Man, is he accurate all night long. We get pressure here by Tommy Connors. Quarterback throws the ball out of bounds and uh, gets called for intentional grounding. So uh, the ball's backed up. It's a loss of down. We blitz here again off the edge. And the quarterback makes a desperation throw into the end zone. And the ball is intercepted there by Trey Douglas. The officials mark the ball on the one yard line. We get the ball out to the six and we decide to take a safety so we don't have to punt out of our end zone to run a few more seconds off the clock. We made them use all their timeouts and here they are with uh, no timeouts. Quarterback's trying to get out of bounds. We get him tackled, but he fumbles the ball and then one of their receivers picks it up and gets out of bounds to stop the clock. They throw the ball for a short out route. They get it out of bounds again in field goal range for their kicker as they try, a, I believe it was a 49 yard field goal attempt. We used our, all of our timeouts, uh, we called two timeouts to ice their kicker. Uh, we put in our field goal block team, we try to get some push and a jump and uh, the attempt is short and off to the left. Lions win, big ball game, big win against North Dakota.